more finish or uh, another paint uh, that you paint the wall and things. I just have this as I'm in the my hometown. So I'm using this paint and number 10 round brush or you can use uh, a big brush anything which is this way. This white. Okay. So I'm gonna start painting. so you cannot see this so clearly but you can see it a bit lightly uh, so let's start painting the peacock let's start with the peacock's body so I'm using this Persian blue color or Catalo blue color this blue looks um, so amazing this is the color for the peacock it's so good 
and next you can use a flat brush or you can use a round brush uh, which it should be a bit thin so you can uh, complete the curves you can have a flat brush because flat brush can complete the curves of the body clearly so i'm using a flat brush i mean flat brush i'm i can't uh, pronounce that r so clearly let's start painting peacock body so it's a bit tight i cannot open so let's take this let's okay guys let's start painting the peacock so i'm taking the color for like a duckling Actually, the peacock's head is a bit uh, thick. I mean, a bit fat. It looks like a fat peacock. No problem. After we paint the feathers, it looks great on them. Uh, great with them, and I'll just start painting the nose and that top ones. I don't know what to say. That top ones. So let's first paint the nose. Using uh, orange color for my peacock's nose, uh, and at this pointed brush, you can use a smaller brush also. Actually, I this is a bigger nose, so I used a bigger pointed one. You can also use a uh, much smaller one, double zero or zero one. So I'm using this. completed the nose this I completed it looks good outside than in the video I'll just uh, do this upper ones I don't know what to say them so I'm using this green color uh, it's a deep green or you can also call it petalo green in uh, artistic words maybe so I'm using a small pointed brush. It's too thin. You can ask in a stationery shop that a double zero round pointed brush. So they'll give you this one. Maybe it's not clear in the video. It's a um, Kuyoko Camel. It's all it's used for watercolor poster color also I'm using it for acrylic the the tip I say you for this one is not to keep the brushes uh, and let them dry 
if you make them dry they will not uh, get rid you cannot get rid of it later so you make sure that you clean your brushes instantly after you use that my suggestion is that you should not use that uh, wall paint you can use that wall paint but don't use these brushes okay if you are ready to lose this brushes then you better use this brushes for painting that wall paint so now i'm making this pick of top ones i literally don't know what to say them so i'm making this with um now okay but i love to put the pink color for the beat on that peacock head i want i don't i mean i won't natural thing but i don't like that much so i will use a pink color to the top i'll show you okay guys this color i'm going to use for that peacock top i love this color so i use this from my childhood so i'll just grab that same brush i i washed that brush i'll just grab the same brush for painting the pink color so i'm just painting it you can see in the video um to make a small bead like shapes not so perfect but can make a smaller circles like this so it looks great on the peacock this two color combination you know this green and this pink looks great i love that combination so i use this in most of my paintings drawings etc so you can also use this color or if you want that green color natural thing you can use that uh, same green color or you can use some metallic finish if you have that you can use that color so i am finished with the peacock stuff now let's move to the peacock feathers so i'll just show you which colors to use so friends i'm going to use that same color i used to the peacock top this petalo green or deep green Uh, I don't know which uh, name you will get on that paint but you can use this one this one looks great this is the color which I love to paint my peacock actually this color is similar to the real peacock feathers but only though it looks a bit lighter if you want to make it darker just you use just a light drop very light drop of a black don't you more you'll get that olive green something like totais color literally totais shit color and i don't like that color because the top looks beautiful it, it suits only this type of bright colors which looks great so i use this type of color for my peacock not black but you can use blue you use black i think it turns olive green so you better use a dark blue for the take this uh, something like the peacock i mean that original color of the peacock so i'll just skip the painting the whole thing also use white for the uh, lighting effect in the i mean that reflection effect in the peacock sky just let's paint this small guy let's show some more like as you can see that so friends i'm using white paint white acrylic paint from the same set I 
that reflection in the peacock's eye. I love that reflection effect in the eyes. I also painted the human eyes. In that also, I love this reflection. I loved it. So I'll paint this. Now let's give that uh, dark lines, dark uh, features for this nose. Let's start. So friends, I'm using uh, this vermilion color from the same set. Actually, I bought this uh, set, Montmartre acrylic paints. It's 36 colors. That set is amazing. But it's not meant for beginners. Um, maybe if you want, you can use it. But I, I suggest you not to use this for beginning because this is a very costly thing. I, I mean, you need experience to use this such a costly product. I also use this very carefully. Uh, I got this for my 14th birthday. Now I'm 15. I got this for my 14th birthday in 2020. So now this is 2021 and now I'm turning 15 to 10. So this thing I gave that outline. Maybe you cannot see that in the video, but it looks great. I'll just show you through the clothes. Now you can see it clearly. Okay, next we will add other details to the feathers on the tail later because it's a bit wet so we need to give some time for this thing to get right as I said before in the video when you use a water, the second layer when you're using two layers you should give some time to for the first layer to dry and now let's friends i like to use red color so i'm taking this red color i'm using this red color for drawing flowers i know a lot of methods of flowers if you want to, if you want a tutorial about that easy methods of simple flowers or Be 
beginners who don't know how to draw this type of flowers you can also try this with um, sketches or brush pen i'll uh, say simpler methods for different types of mediums on painting if you want i'll show you with the uh, color pencils sketches brush pens and paints This took me a lot of time for drawing those flowers and just exhausted by drawing those many flowers I mean painting those many flowers now I'm going to show you a very simple trick of painting leaves simple leaves I'll show you this is a very easy tutorial you can see on the close first you take this type of brush number 8 round brush or number 6 but if you ever I mean if what size you like you can take now I'll show you how to draw those leaves just bum, bum, just like that it's so simple you just drag them and next other and next one Just like that it's very simple method of drawing leaves I'm showing you very simple method because uh, we want to highlight the peacock so we should give the background in this important than peacock Now paint the flowers as it's dry. So let's paint the uh, sorry, not flowers, it's feathers. Mm. See, you need yellow color, a pale yellow color, a light monster green, and a sap green. It's not actually sap green. You can also make it by adding mon this green and some blue and just a drop of black. So now let's start painting this feathers. First you need to take yellow color. I'll just open it. First paint this large dots randomly.
is minimum space for that according to your size of people so I'm drawing this thing